Hey guys, welcome to the 14th chapter of the Substrate course. In this chapter, we're going to be downloading the entire relay chain on our local system and going to start off a node of the relay chain. So you know by now that Polkadot is not just one blockchain, it's actually a network of multiple blockchains. So you have the relay chain at the center, which is the main blockchain, and then you have parachains that connect to the relay chain. And the relay chain and the parachains, they all communicate using XCM. All right, so in this tutorial, like I said, we're going to be starting off the relay chain node on our system. So this is why this is the 14th chapter because things can get a little tricky and you shouldn't be doing this if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And some of the steps in this tutorial can take up to 60 minutes, but I'll edit those steps out so the video will be actually smaller. But for you to complete this tutorial, it could take, take well over an hour uh, because some of the steps could take like 15 to 60 minutes, okay? Uh, so first thing we'll do is, uh, <clears throat> I'll create a folder to, to uh, have or to host this relay chain, to store this relay chain. And I will uh, go into this relay folder and I will clone the latest Polkadot relay chain project. So these uh, commands, you'll find them in the, um, the chapter 14 doc that I've shared with you. And this will take some time to download the entire Polkadot relay chain node. So uh, feel free to wait or get, grab a cup of coffee. All right, so as you can see, the project has downloaded into my system. And now we will CD into the Polkadot system or Polkadot a folder that was created. So if you see, if you write LS, you'll see all the files that were created uh, when you downloaded the Polkadot <coughs> relay chain. And now is the step that takes the maximum amount of time. So we're basically going to build a release for this uh, node before we can start the node. And uh, this step can take, uh, you know, five minutes, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, depending on the kind of uh, system you have. So I'm going to run this. You can also do that at the same time. Uh, and, but this will, but just uh, a heads up, this will end up taking a lot of time. So as you can see, it's still not uh, completed. It'll take still some time. So what we can do is we can start off uh, some other processes which we would need to be able to start off the nodes. Now, now the thing is we'll be starting off two different nodes, one with the Alice account, one with the Bob account. So to do that, we need something called as the uh, raw custom spec.json file. And this is a file that we had created uh, a few tutorials back. So you would probably know how to do it. But even if you don't, it's completely all right. What I'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So, uh, and, and we'll do an easier version of it. So what we'll do is we'll go and we'll find uh, a, a file like that on the internet, which is the raw local chain spec.json file. We'll find that on the internet and we'll just copy and paste the contents into our own, uh, into our own computer. So I'm just opening up uh, the, um, opening up my code editor uh, at the root. And here uh, I'll just go ahead and create a new a uh, file called raw local chain spec dot json make sure you get the name right raw local uh, chain spec dot json right and this file is where you will copy and paste all the contents from the uh, that we find on the internet so we will copy and paste the contents and we'll go ahead and close it off uh, now what I'll do is I will CD into, on the other terminal, I'll CD into the folder where I had compiled my uh, relay node and I'll go into Polkadot. Uh, actually, I don't need to do that. Yeah, sorry. So this is, uh, so you don't have to go into the place where you have um, compiled your relay node. You just have to go into the temp uh, folder. And in the temp folder is where we would need to have the chain spec.json file. So what I'll do is, I'll uh, open up explorer.exe uh, in the temp folder and I'll also open up explorer.exe here, right? So uh, in, in Ubuntu, I can just simply use the move command or the cp command as well. Uh, in case you're on Windows and you're using WSL like me, uh, you can do this, this also. This is also an option. So I'll just go to the end of the temp folder and I can simply copy and paste it here. Okay, so I've replaced, I already had the file in my temp folder where I've replaced it anyways. Uh, okay, so now this exists in my temp folder and I can go here and I can actually CD into 
the folder where I have my relay node and polkadot all right so let's see if it has resolved by now so yes so this has resolved by now and it has finished okay which is great it took me nine minutes even though my computer is like super fast it still took me nine minutes uh, not a problem so what we'll do now is we will <coughs> go ahead and start the node with the Alice account first so let's see if that works yeah, so as you can see, this start running, and here on the other terminal, we will start the node with the um, Bob account, all right? And both of these work. Now, if they are able to discover each other, right, uh, then that means they are working perfectly fine. And as you see here, one peer, so this has been able to find a peer, and this also has been able to find a peer. That means that this is perfect. They were both able to find each other. And if this starts happening, that means you were able to start two different nodes for the relay chain and that's a that's a huge task right so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stop these now and let's say after your uh, installation if you wanted to verify if everything works perfectly before starting the node you could do this you could run the target release polkadot minus minus help command just to see if it returns anything if it does return the help information that means everything was working perfectly fine and you can go ahead and start the node all right uh, or otherwise you'll get details about the um, troubleshooting there as well so i hope you learned a lot in this course and especially in this video as well thank you so much for watching and next thank you so much uh, rephrase thank you so much uh, rephrase thank you so much for watching and until next time